Hi everybody. Uh, welcome back to my channel and anyone I um, appreciate you coming to see check out my video as you'll see that this is a showing you my setup for um, January February I'm gonna keep it in here um, keeping with the red theme so you'll see I know I have a lot of videos this year starting off in 2024 uh, will show you the setup how you know the process of doing the setup I already went through that um, so we're not going to do that today but we are going to flip through what it looks like so if you're interested in seeing that just stay tuned Okay, so this is the planner I'm going to be using for the next two months. Um, I have several uh, planners. If you're a planner person, if you're not, um, you know, old school folks, you know, we are all about um, collections, if you will, of planners. <laughs> so this one I'm going to be using for the next two months is from Notique. Is, um, I bought this a couple years back. Uh, it's on there. Uh, so it has, you know, the gold clasp on it. Um, it's a stiffer planner, so it's not, it's cost up there in price. If you like a more firmer planner, you would love this. I realize I like a more supple kind of planner, so it's not necessarily my favorite one, but I do like it. I do love the red and um, gold, right? So uh, what we have here is the pocket. We have the protector piece, and you can see this is a Notique planner. And, and within that, I have the January calendar from Cloth and Paper. I have some, oops, sorry. I have some sticker, just two sticker sheets. They're basically the same um, from Fabulously Plain, as you can see. Again, older stickers that were for her um, calendar holidays. I like to keep that there because I'm always losing that one because I bought multiple when they came out. I'm a Advent Dollar Wednesday person. Um, Especially when I put myself on a very low spin and I feel like I have to have some kind of plan of retail. I'll go there. Um, so this is a cloth and paper um, vellum card. And it says, you know, I can be and still be. So just letting you know, I can still, I can be strong and still be soft. So I'm working on these, some of these things um, personally. And then it's just layered on top of the silver um, breathe deeply card and on the back of that breathe deeply card does give breathing um, techniques and if you're not familiar with some of the breathing techniques so you can see that steps to take and it kind of tells you about you know the breathe in how many seconds breathe out um, type of situation and I do that with my I've done that several times you know I have to say I really haven't done it too much for myself. I do it with my grandson and my daughter sometimes. I have the cloth and paper divider here, January. So this one, I'll just, at the end of the month, I'll switch out this January um, sticker because these were the blank ones and I just put stickers on it. And here is uh, Don't Settle. That's just kind of the um, dashboard. I wanted it to kind of stay there, right? Uh, about the don't settle and then exceptional again from cloth and paper and this is where you'll see my dailies begin and so with my daily um, I, oh this is from rose shadow collection so if you like stickers with foiling she does some of the best foiling stickers uh, not that I've had a whole lot of shots with foiling but um, the shots that I've had foiling with they just don't compare to hers, in my personal opinion. And this is from the Rolex um, sticker book that she had. And I got it because there was a scene in the Rolex sticker book that I just wanted the um, female with the male uh, that sold me <laughs> on it. And so this is basically my January. And the stickers, again, came from the... Um, Rolex sticker book, except for the affirmation, uh, which came from Anika's Creative Closet, which is from moons ago, probably when she first opened up her shop, first set of stickers. Uh, this is from 
Mojo Jojo plan the January itself. So I just again was using elements from um, Rose Shadow Collection and then of course the date for the holidays right from Fabulously Planned are here. So then um, this is our first week and again featuring the Rolex kit. So this week I put some of my um, things that I needed to get done this week. Then the first, and I don't really do much of anything else, <laughs> to be honest. Um, my life has really gone back to, I just work. And I have never been the type of planner girl like to put, the when I do the laundry, do laundry or dishes or clean the bathroom or anything in my planner. So, um... I have those stickers and I really guess I should be putting them in there, but um, my life isn't so out of control that I put that in there, but I may start putting those things in here. We shall see. Um, so you'll see a lot of it is just basically very minimum. There's not a whole lot going on, um, but I hope to change that in 2024. As you can see, nothing. I don't have anything on the second, so I'll either come back and drop what I did on the second um, it's just a way to fill up the pages, but, you know, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Uh, this weekly finance assessment is from Norris Cove, and, um, I like this just, a, again, I keep it in between Tuesday and Wednesday, so I can see, okay, what's, is due this week instead of filling up the, this week section, because it has to do with my finances, and then it's on the second, on the back of it you have like your savings information what expenses that you were doing for that week so i can always flip back to that date to say okay well on this date i spent money doing xyz um as you can see on wednesday it was pretty busy and i say busy I actually did some stuff other than work <laughs> and i do mark like when i get my happy meal etc um so the fourth, and then again, my um, divider, my page marker, not my divider, my page marker from cloth and paper. And all I did was put slits in it, right? So I can easily take it in and out. And I usually have slits in my pages as well, so I can just remove them in and out. I didn't do it for this week, but I'll do it for next week. Um, I put an extra sheet in here because there was just a some to-do list. It didn't have to be on any one particular day this week. So I put it here. Because, again, it, I could have literally put it here, but at the time when I made this list, I didn't have this one ready. So, it was just easier for me to get a note sheet and create that because at the time I was thinking about it. Um, and then, that is really kind of it. Um, and the seventh Sunday, I haven't filled this out yet, so, like, I'll add a church sticker to it, etc., um, that we've got going on. So that's kind of gave you kind of a, a week review as well. And so the rest are just the daily, the rest of the daily pages. And you see it, I prep each week with the weekly finance assessment in between Tuesday and Wednesday. The next section or after my daily calendar, I have my, um, pocket folder. Again, I got from cloth and paper. It has the Norris Cove note sticky notes because um, when uh, I want it to look kind of cute and I don't know what's going on I just but I need to really write it down because my memory lately has been a whole nother situation um, I have the sticky notes so I can just stick things that's literally was my month of December was sticky notes on every single day <laughs> um, and then I just have some various stickers in here you know usually like bill credit cards uh, trash stickers recycle standard ones that I use very often uh, my inbox um, here and um, there was an appointment. Here's my list um, with a card from Cloth and Paper. I really had to think about where is it. I'm like, I have Cloth and Paper. So it's just list and um, a vellum sheet. Again, Cloth and Paper. Do what you want to be known for. And then some just note paper from, I think this is just Sandia Plans, where I just kind of have it so I can pull out. If I need it just to do some chicken scratch. Doesn't have to be anything aesthetically pleasing, if you will. My grocery guide, so I can write groceries, um, things that we may need, 
and so that when I go to the grocery store, I can pick them up. Sometimes I will divide it by where I'm going to get those items. Um, because you know, sometimes you get some things you got to get from Walmart, some things you've got to get from you know, HEB, Fresh, you know, whichever. And I may put the stickers, although I don't have a sticker for the store Fresh, um, but that's okay. Planning City is where I usually get my stickers for the various shopping bags, if you will. I have another uh, pocket folder from Cloth and Paper. It's blank currently. The extra weekly finance assessments that are here. The um, Cloth and Paper dashboard, your only limits is your mind. Again, older. Uh, the notes section, which I've been hoarding this um, section of notes because I absolutely love the aesthetic of these notes and cloth and paper doesn't do this version anymore they have it differently um, so that makes me sad so I, I don't use them because I just like looking at them they're just really pretty uh, so it's under that note section and I got rid of the other sections that I had in my plan before, so I have an extra little divider so I can, you know, jump to either notes or um, whatever I may have going on back here. I used to have, like, a miscellaneous. Um, I think, like, I may even have, like, a little financial one. And I realized I really don't use them in this planner because I have my faith planner and my mustard planner. I have my budget in my uh, budget planner, so I was like, I don't need that. Let's just put in here what I actually need and I've um, so this just works out better for me and this cloth and paper clip the red I keep it here so I don't lose it I'm not cloth and paper I'm sorry Ollie clip which is dirty it's been <laughs> all over the place but I keep it here so I don't lose it because this generally is I bust out this antique one at Christmas and I use it for Christmas but um, here we are I will be using it for um, January and February Another card that's just a reminder, take a break. You deserve it. And some appointment sheets. So for a win, um, I have an appointment. Brayden has an appointment. I wanted to keep some teller slips in here. Just in case this planner goes with me with my tote bag. Depending on what purse that I have. Depends on whether or not I take this one with me. And then some 2024 stickers that I got from Fabulously Planned. And there's nothing that's in the inside pocket. And of course, this one has a, a pin loop and um, I had a white pin, I think, that I had in here at one particular point. So, yeah, that's kind of where we are with the um, my setup for twenty beginning 2024. Uh, let me go get these cookies and I'll be right back. So, yep, this is my um, planner for, you know... 2024 I can't say this is going to be my planner um, the guts this will go every um, from one planner to another so it's a six what won't go is the ollie clip uh, but basically all of this will go um, from one planner to an to another and um, I'm just going to be utilizing a six rings that's my sweet spot again I don't really do anything but go to work um, and these days, uh, and except for this year, I have to go into office, but, uh, for the last several years, I've worked from home. So I don't go anywhere. I literally leave my room and go to my office. So, um, that's kind of where we are. And, and on this channel, I will do some playing with me's, which I will show you my playing with me doing my, uh, dailies, kind of setting them up, prepping them for the week. Um, and that will be a different video, but yeah, that's what we're going to be using. You'll see this red planner for the next two months, January and February. And then in March, I'll switch it to something different. I don't know what Moterm planner I'll switch it to because that's where my collection lies is in the Moterm planners. And, uh, we'll go from there and we'll either, we'll, the setup will change probably with maybe dashboards at the beginning, etc. We'll never know, but it will be an A6. Um, it would be very um, strange, if you will. Although I've really been considering getting myself a A5 um, Hobonichi cousin, and let's just jump it on the bandwagon. But I think I will get one and make it my catch-all planner, if you will. And this is my everyday kind of on-the-go 
um, planner for the most part. Um, and then, you know, just keeping it on my desk. And so, yeah, and then I may come back and do a planner stack video. But if I do a planner stack video, it will be uh, a, a while because I'm still trying to determine if I want to get an A5 Hobonichi um going or not but anyways that's enough rambling thank you guys for sticking around this far and if you're not a subscriber go ahead and hit that subscribe button as you leave the video and everyone else if you like the flip through of my uh, january setup go ahead and give me a thumbs up it will really help my channel i'm gonna really try to do good y'all this year and do at least one video a upload one video a week um as we kind of go through 2024 so i will appreciate you guys supporting my channel sending anybody over here uh in my channel we're gonna just keep it real we may not always be aesthetically pleasing but we will show real life how things really happen um, on this channel but anyways i'll see you guys later bye